was stuck and we couldn't get it open. And the mess in the hall? Just a bit of mud. Well, I forgive you, but I'm afraid I don't believe you. <laughs> Miles! Oh, kids, why don't you just tell her everything? Obviously, she's not going to believe you, but at least I'd know what's going on exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Little puppet meeting in the corner. <laughs> Look who I found. <laughs> who was that? Couldn't even really see it. Miles, are you okay? Flashback. Judging by the writing on the envelope, I assume oh, it's from you. I want you to know that this room is a, a safe place for questions. Not just about your studies. But anything you like. Like your dead parents, for example. Ask away. Hint, they are in heaven. The trouble began, as trouble often does, with an accident. Or so it would be called. That school building looked a bit like Hill House. <laughs> Wingrave! He just wants to see his parents again, dude. You can have a button bunk. <laughs> oh, that's a true friend. Ozzy got very lucky, huh? Just one broken arm? I mean, he pretty much face planted. <laughs> Why'd you do it? Do what? Why'd you jump? I didn't. I fell. I didn't jump. I fell. Obviously. If you ever need anything, I'm here for you, mate. Okay? That's very mature of you, dude. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Baxter? Just a little fight. Hey, hey, break it up! Break it up! Break it up! How did he even manage that? How did he overpower this kid with only one arm? So you started it. Had he wronged you in some way? Said something to you? Something to set you off? Oh, I think he just wants to be sent back home, huh? After he read his sister's letter? None of us are blameless. Except the soul that's not yet conceived and the animals. Like Pidge over there. They're the only innocents. I think you have to kill that bird, dude. The Lord works in mysterious ways. A, a cliche, I know, but true. And death is something <laughs> to mourn, not fear. It's a bit weird to say that to a kid. I know it's a bit cliche to say that. Does he even know what a cliche is? <laughs> oh, that was definitely not a ghost, just a bird killer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm caught. <laughs> Master Wingrave, is there anything you'd like to say? Send me home already! How much more do I have to do? <laughs> How did they actually find out that it was him? But I at least have to insist on the apology. For God's sake, we at least have to have that. No. Go to hell. Sorry, I didn't do worse. Get off its head. Spread out the insides. I'm sorry I didn't do worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I... But my sister needs me. Why he'd done any of these things, no one would understand. Only the letter from Flora, delivered when he arrived, forgotten in the dormitory, would offer a possible clue as to why he tried so, so hard. <laughs> a clue? <laughs> That's pretty much the solution. <laughs> Doesn't get more obvious than that. Oh. Thoughts on the new au pair? Ugh, gossip. What? It's just Christian concern, She's Hannah. perfectly splendid, All right, fine. I'd say. On a scale of zero to American, how would you rate her? <laughs> I found these two. I didn't break them. I promise. It's fine. It's fine.
the glasses of her dead fiance, or her violent stalker, <laughs> or maybe he was both. You all right? Does it look like it? <laughs> uh, where are you off to? Heading back to the garden. I have a few more weeds to pull. Trying to earn time off for good behaviour then? Have a lovely afternoon, Jamie, darling. <laughs> what a player. Isn't there some nice medicine in there you can swallow, huh? I'd like to apologise for locking you in the wardrobe closet, for the mess in the hall, all of it. But most importantly, for being such a child about it. Being around Flora, I sometimes forget mm. myself. <laughs> I think Flora just misses Miss Jessel terribly. So we play little games to keep her from feeling sad. It's such a draining thing. Dealing with children. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Little fucking shit. Hey, he's just a kid. I'm gonna kill him. I swear <laughs> to God. No, hey, they're just a few flowers. <gasps> a little boy cut a few flowers. What's the big They deal? weren't ready to be cut. Hmm. There's probably an interesting backstory waiting for us. <laughs> I don't like people messing about in my garden. No, you're right. You're right. It's not your garden though, right? Doesn't it technically belong to the kids? I've got a little surprise set up for the kiddos if you want to join. Are you right? Well, you're fine. I just uh, well, I haven't been sleeping very well. I think I'll turn in for the night. Okay. Good night, darling. Good night. Mm. Good night. There's another interesting backstory waiting for us. <laughs> Why is she bald? As a reward, we can play a game. Hmm? Yes, please. Let's play doctor. Three, two, one. Ready or not, that chest would have been a good spot. Not behind a chest, inside a chest. There was a big one. This is a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Playing hide and seek in a manner <laughs> at night. Well, there's no mud, so I guess it wasn't the lady in the lake. Actually, she should be called Lady of the Lake. <laughs> Can't be a lady in the lake if you're not in the lake. You will never find them. <laughs> what the hell? She didn't even check every room downstairs. You aren't down here, are you? What an amateur hide-and-seeker. This wing is off-limits, game or not. Then why are you even checking it? You didn't even check everything else. Mm -hmm. What was that? <laughs> Got you. I'm supposed to be looking for you, and this wing is. I'm going to start counting, and that will be your time. Ease up! Right there. You're so good. He's awake! He's awake! He's awake. Oh, thank God. He's awake. He's awake. Oh, but he he's not even connected to her. He's connected to him. So that means her lover is dead. And this dude was a violent man around this place. Now we got it. 